the British Guiana is the world's rarest stamp. The inverted Jenny is the United States' most valuable stamp. To have two such diverse rarities offered at the same time is spectacular. The first postage stamps arrived in Britain in 1840. In the 10 years that followed, perhaps 20 countries started issuing stamps. The postmaster in British Guyana decided that he wanted to introduce these new fangled postage stamps. He had no access to a stamp printing organization. He went to the only place that he could go to, the printer of the local newspaper. And they fashioned little circular pieces of metal. They stuffed some type in and they printed them on essentially newspaper paper and they became known as the cotton reels and they were the first issue of British Guyana. Sometime in 1855, the postmaster put in an order for new stamps from Britain. He ordered 100,000 stamps, 50,000 one cents and 50,000 four cents. But when they arrived, there were only 5,000 of each. Now this wasn't a supply that was going to last more than a few months. He went back to the newspaper printer, Baum and Dallas, and he produced four cent values in red and blue. And for the longest period of time, they were thought to be the only stamps that he did produce. However, it turned up in 1872 that they'd also produced a one cent. And this is the one cent British Guyana. All of us, if we go through our homes, will find some old letter. And this stamp had actually sat in a pile of mail, probably on a newspaper, from 1856 to 1873. Andrew Hunter, who was a resident of British Guyana, received the stamp on April 4th, 1856. In 1873, his 12-year-old nephew, Louis Vernon Vaughan, found the stamps amongst his uncle's papers and sold it to a local British Guyana collector called Neil McKinnon. Neil McKinnon was probably the person that recognized its value. He'd only paid five shillings for it, the equivalent of about a dollar. He sent his whole collection over to Europe to a dealer and they thought, I haven't seen one of those before. And then it almost became rumor that there was a one cent British Guyana stamp. And this went on for years and years. How many printed? Nobody knows. How many do we know exist? One. It is unique. When you actually see it in the flesh, it's quite marvelous. It's a myriad of colors, mostly because of the time it's spent in British Guyana during its formative years. It's almost a burnished brown red and the shade changes across the stem. But as you spend more time with it, it's a remarkably robust stamp. It's still crisp. You know when you hold a new banknote and you can just flick the side? It's still solid. The stamp is like that. It's, it's in a remarkably good condition. Most stamps you look at just from the face. The British Guyana is unique in the fact that the real story is the back and the back has been marked by every owner since 1873. And it all started with Philippe Ferrari. He had a special hand stamp made, and it was a small circular, what they call a trefoil. The next buyer, who was called Arthur Hind, and that was a clover. And each leaf of the clover had the initials AH. From there, it went to Frederick T. Small. His motto was a comet. From Small, it went to Erwin Weinberg, and there is a IW in pencil written in one corner. From Erwin Weinberg, it went to John Dupont, and it's his initials, John E. Luthier D. Dupont. The most recent, of course, is Stuart Weitzman, who has a single line drawing of a stiletto with just his initials. 
The British Guyana is the Mona Lisa of the stamp world. What better way to say it? It's the one stamp that's missing from the royal collection. It's the one stamp that a king of England couldn't get his hands on. It just is the rarest stamp in the world. The British Guyana is the world's quintessential stamp. The inverted Jenny is the quintessential American stamp. The 1918 24 cent airmail stamp with the inverted center is probably the most famous stamp in the United States. This stamp was created for the world's first scheduled mail delivery service. The Jenny stamps were printed very much like the first official stamps of British Guyana and the first stamps in the world. They were actually printed on a hand press in sheets of a hundred at a time, but because they were two colored, red and blue, they had to go one through the press to get the red frame, and then once back through the same press later with the blue aeroplane. An invert is created generally when that sheet somehow, or that plate, for the second run gets turned around and it gets printed upside down. The inverted Jenny sheet, and especially the plate number block, there was only one sheet that made it through the post office into collector's hands. The plates that are used to print usually have identifying marks on the side, including the number of the plate that was being used. And it is that plate number that appears on the block that we are selling. That is very, very important. When you collect blocks as a collector, the most important block is the plate block. And the plate number was not cut off. So it's the most collectible of the collectibles. I think the two items display two very different facets of significance. The British Guyana, the rarest stamp in the world, is the greatest story of the whole rise of stamp collecting from just a few people collecting odd scraps of paper to what became a multi, multi-million dollar industry. The inverted Jenny from 1918, obviously far more modern, was almost designed to be famous. It was expected. It was, you couldn't have created it any better because you took an object, an aeroplane, which most people weren't familiar with, but then you turned it upside down. All the other inverts have been cars and trains and boats. You put them upside down, they're accidents. The Jenny is, it's a plane being used to do something daring. It's fabulous. It's printed in red, white, and blue. What more could you ask?